Hello from Florida! When you last saw us, we were in Merida, Mexico, and after a few weeks back in Austin, soaking up lots of time with Kona, we are leaving Austin tomorrow morning to head to Florida to meet up with two very special people, our friends Jen and Elliot, also known as Show and Joe. Jen and Elliot, plus their dog Ollie, have been doing full-time boat life for almost two years now, and if you've been following our adventures for a while, you may remember that back in 2021, we met up with them in the Chesapeake for the first time in real life, and it was an absolute blast. <laughs> This is cool! <laughs> and for the last year, they've been traveling all around North America on the Great Loop, which is a 6,000 mile boating journey that takes you from the Keys, up the intercoastal waterway, by New York City, through the Hudson River and Erie Canal, into Canada and some of the Great Lakes, through Chicago, back down the inland rivers, and all the way down to Florida. They just finished this journey last week, crossing their wake in Southern Florida, which is so exciting. And for the next week, we're going to hop aboard their boat and experience boat life in the Keys. Even though Texas isn't very far from Florida, we have quite the long travel day to get there, including cars, a plane, a bus, and a really cool looking train. It's gonna be a very planes, trains, and automobiles kind of day. You're going the wrong way! Our flight this morning is at 6.50 a.m. and we've been up since 3 a.m. So first things first, we've got to get some coffee, got to get some food because we don't want to get hangry. You won't like me when I'm hangry. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we love. <laughs> One thing we love about the Austin Airport is that it has mostly local restaurants inside, so we got some breakfast and some coffee from some places we love in town. This green salsa is super good, but be warned, it is pretty hot. From the moment that we left the house this morning until we meet up with Jen and Elliot, today's travel day is going to be around 10 hours. And for the first leg, we are flying Southwest Airlines to Fort Lauderdale, which is about a two and a half hour long flight. And you can fly into either Miami or Fort Lauderdale to visit the Keys with Miami being closer, but the timing just worked out better to fly into Fort Lauderdale. The 8031 through 60, welcome aboard. Show and do are coming for you. <laughs> We got that so, special two-person exit row. Right I kind of consider this the first class seat of Southwest Airlines. <laughs> On behalf of this flight crew and Southwest Airlines, welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have made it to Fort Lauderdale, but we still have a little bit of a trek to get to Key Biscayne, which is where we're meeting Jen and Elliot. And the easiest way to get there would be to just take a lift the whole way, which is a little over an hour drive. But we learned about this super cool train called the Bright Line, which just sounded way more fun. So we've decided to take a less straightforward way to get there. And first we have a 25 minute bus ride from the airport to the Bright Line station. So the sign says bus stop and it says one, which is the bus we're looking for. So I think we're in the right place. <laughs> Also, they do have an app where you can buy tickets, so I'm gonna try to do that in advance just so we don't have to use cash, and I think it's $2 each person for one way. All right, we successfully made it on the bus. Now we just have to make sure that we get off at the right stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bus ride wasn't too bad. It was pretty quick and easy and most importantly we got off at the right stop and what made it even better was our awesome bus driver Richard. If you see this, you are the best. Thanks for getting us there safely.
The Bright Line is a high-speed rail that currently connects Miami to West Palm Beach with additions to Orlando and Tampa soon. We love trains and both the train station and the train look super nice, so we are very excited about this experience. Brightline has two ticket levels, smart tickets which cost $17 a person for our exact time and route, or premium tickets which for us were $27 each. And for the extra $10 per person we got access to the premium lounge which has snacks and drinks both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So we made sure to get here with plenty of time to enjoy it. I've got a pocket here, I've got a pocket here, I've got a pocket there. <laughs> if I can fill up the rest of my bag, it's just everywhere. Brightline, if you're watching this, don't worry, we're not going to do any of that. We're going to take a very appropriate amount of free items for two people with very large appetites. <laughs> All right, y'all, we have a spread of meats, cheeses, veggies, fruit, and some salad. It's basically all of our favorite snack foods. This is awesome. And even if you don't have access to the lounge, there's also a bar and a market with some snacks and drinks so you can still get some food. It's just a 38 minute ride to Miami and I already wish it was longer. They just gave us lavender towels. This is the fanciest I've ever felt. I got lavender towels. Ooh, that smells really good. Not only do you get free snacks and drinks in the lounge, but you also get them on the train. Oh my gosh, that was so loud. <laughs> Can you tell that we never do anything that's premium by how we're behaving? We're just way too excited. This bathroom is huge. It's so nice. Oh my gosh. You can fit like 10 people in here. <laughs> That went by way too fast. That was so much fun. We love traveling by train. We just wish there were more destinations in the U.S. with options like this. I did read that Brightline will have a train from Los Angeles to Las Vegas in the future, which will be two times as fast as driving, so we'll have to go check that one out sometime. We still have a tiny bit more to get to Key Biscayne, but to make it easy, we're just gonna take a lift the rest of the way. We made it to Bill Bags, Cape Florida State Park, which is at the southern end of Key Biscayne, which is where Jen and Elliot are anchored. Now it's time to go find them. I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it. <laughs> we made it! Okay, What's up? Guys. Good to see ya! I'm so happy to see you guys. What's going Jake, on? Jake, you guys together. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Today we have traveled by plane, bus, train, lift, and now we're on a dinghy. This is Fred the dinghy, which is a smaller boat to take us to the bigger boat. So many modes of transportation. Oh. 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 So excited. Okay, okay, <laughs> Molly, come on, baby, come on. 
We're back, baby! <laughs> <laughs> what a welcoming yeah. crew we have here. Now that we've had a chance to settle in on Pivot, we want to reintroduce you to our friends Sho and Joe, also known as Elliot and Jen. Elliot is the Sho, <laughs> and Jen is the Joe. Yeah. And you probably saw their very sweet fur baby, Ollie, who's helping us miss Kona less. <laughs> Ollie's the best. <laughs> so their boat is a 34-foot trawler, and we gave a full tour the last time that we hung out with them, so we'll give you just a quick highlight tour real quick. When you first walk in, you walk into the salon, the galley, and the helm, and they actually have another helm upstairs on the flybridge. And what makes this boat so much different than our van is that they have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. If you saw our video from last time when we were on Pivot, you'll remember I had to sleep in the coffin here. I feel pretty good. Yeah. Got lots of headspace. It's comfy though. Is there... Lots of headspace for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I slept under here and there's not much room here. So if you wake up from a nightmare, boom, you're banging your head. Would you like to demonstrate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Yep, so sleep right under here. It's cozy, <laughs> nice and cozy and comfy. But this time we will also be able to use this bed. So Adam will sleep here, and I will sleep here, <laughs> and we will have no coffin situations. Nope. And if you're curious what a boat bathroom looks like, ta-da! This style of bathroom is called a wet head, and it's very similar to our van, where basically you can just close this thing off and shower all up in here and just get everything wet. It has been a crazy long day, so we're just gonna relax for the rest of the evening and hang out with our friends. This trip has been 15 months in the making and we are just so excited to finally be here. We don't know what we're gonna get up to over the next week because boat life is heavily dependent on the weather, but we are excited for the adventures that are going to unfold. We're at Bilbo Baggins, Cape Florida State Park. Where's My Gandalf? Precious. My yes. precious. Mr. 305! <laughs> 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 